I welcome you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to another time in the presence of the Most High God. The Lord God Almighty, whom we have come to serve, that God will visit us at the very point of our needs in the name of Jesus. We start today's broadcast by singing Him when we walk with the Lord in the light of His word. What a glory He shares on our way. While we do His goodwill, He abides with us still, and with all who we trust and obey. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When we walk with the Lord in the light of His word, what a glory He shares on our way. What we say. Trust and obey, trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Not a shadow can rise, not a cloud in the skies, but his smile quickly drives it away. Not a doubt, not a fear, not a sight, not a tear, can abide while we trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Not a burden we bear, not a sorrow we share, but at all he doth richly repay. Not a grief, not a loss, not a frown, not a cross, but it's blessed if we trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Mm -mm 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 -mm. But we never can prove the delight of His love until all on the altar we lay. For the favor He shows and the joy He bestows are for them who we trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Then the fellowship sweet, we will sit at his feet, or we walk by his side in his way. What he says he will do, he will send where we go, never fear, only trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Amen. Everlasting Father, immortal, invisible God, the creator of heaven and the earth, our Lord and our maker, we worship and we bless your holy name because of who you are. We appreciate you for the covenant of life. We bless you because you are the light that is shining in us. We thank you for supplying all our needs. We thank you for fighting for us against our adversaries. Father, be thou exalted in the name of Jesus. Mighty and merciful God, we commit our lives into your hands, O God. We know we have sinned against you and we pray for mercy. Have mercy upon us in Jesus' name. Wash away all our sins and create in us a new spirit in the name of Jesus. Fill us, O God with fresh fire from above and let your word have a place in our heart to germinate and to bear fruit in the name of Jesus. We come against every enemies of your word in us. We come against every plans of the enemies. We come against every andrage of wickedness. We set them on fire in the name of Jesus. Whatever the devil is planning, whatever the enemies are planning, every of their handwriting, every of their desire, every of their expectations, we destroy them now in the name of Jesus. Any power planning to pull us down, the Lord God of Almighty would disgrace them in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 16. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 16. The Bible says, Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thy adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity, and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all they that pray upon thee will I give for a prey. 
all thy adversaries shall go into captivity. I pray thee in the name of Jesus. Any power, any spirit, any authority that are bent on pulling you down, they shall go into captivity in the name of Jesus. Say, my wicked enemies, according to the word of God, go into everlasting captivity in the mighty name of Jesus. All my enemies, enemies in my father's house, enemies in my mother's house, enemies in my in-laws house, enemies around me, hear the word of the Lord, go into captivity, go into everlasting captivity in the name of Jesus. I send you to captivity. Every problems in my life, every problems in my family, every problems in my foundation, open your mouth and send those problems into captivity in the name of Jesus all your enemies, all the enemies of your children, the enemies of your marriage, the enemies of your business, the enemies of your ministry, the enemies of your calling, the enemies of your life, they shall go into captivity. According to the word of God, your enemies shall go into captivity. In the name of Jesus, I cover you, I cover your family with the blood of Jesus and with the fire of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. I decree by the authority in the name of Jesus that the enemies will not bring you down. They will not bring you down. Any this any plan to bring you down shall fail. Any plan to bring you down shall fail. Any plan to disgrace you shall fail. Any body, any power, any spirit, planning show of disgrace for your life. The Lord will put them to open shame and disgrace. In the name of Jesus, whosoever is joining hands together, whosoever is joining hands together with the enemies within and with enemies outside, to bring you down, the Lord will disappoint them. The Lord will disappoint them. In the name of Jesus, any power planning to black maybe you whosoever planning to blackmail you, whosoever planning to sell you out to the enemies that will put you in problem, the law will destroy them. In the name of Jesus, thunder of God, thunder of God, we appear in the camp of your enemies. Thunder of God, we appear and we scatter them in the name of Jesus. I cover you, I cover your family. Everything that concerns you, I soak in the blood of Jesus and in the fire of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen, amen. Amen in Jesus' name. The devil will not bring you down. You will not fall. You will not go down into the pit of disgrace. Whosoever wants you to be disgraced, the Lord God Almighty will tear away their covering of glory in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' most blessed and wonderful name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Amen in Jesus' name. I welcome you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ today, nine of our teachings on the book of Revelation, the God of heaven. We open our understanding and will teach us by himself in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of buying and selling, I arrest them in the name of Jesus. Whatever is in me that will make me to speak with flesh, whatever is in me that will make me to speak with the title words of men, Holy Ghost, purge me right now. Deliver me, break me down and remove me. Make me, Lord, a vessel unto honor, fit for your use all the days of my life. To speak the truth that will set the captives free in the name of Jesus. And the word that we are going to hear today shall not stand against us on the day of judgment. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's quickly open our Bible to Revelation chapter 9. Revelation chapter 9. I'll read quickly from verse 1 through to the end. And today, the theme for today's teaching is titled, The Unrepentant Generation. The Unrepentant Generation. Everything that is happening now, they are there in the book of Revelation. And I pray that every instruction that God is passing through us, all that God is giving to us, shall make our lives better. We will not rebel against the word of God. We, our lives, our children, our families, the church of God, we will not rebel and will not, talk dead, will not turn deaf ears against this word of prophecy in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. The Bible says, And the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven unto earth, and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. And he opened the bottomless pit, and there arose a smoke out of the pit, as the smoke of a great furnace. And the sun and the hair were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. And there came out of the smoke locust upon the earth, and unto them was given power, as the scorpions of the earth have power. 
and it was commanded them that they should not ought the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal of God in their foreheads. The locusts that are coming out, the problems, the calamities that has been released to this world is not for those who have the seal of God. It's not for the believers. It's for those who have not accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and personal Savior. There is danger in living in this world without you and I accepting Christ as a Lord and personal Savior. The seal that we have been talking about is the mark of Jesus. It's you and I accepting Jesus Christ as God that came in the flesh to save mankind from this terrible world. Let's continue. Verse 5. And to them it was given that they should not kill them, but they should be tormented. The scorpions will not kill that the locusts will not kill, the infirmities will not kill, but it will torture men. It tells you the kind of torture that the unbelievers are passing through. Never be envious of those without Christ. Whether they are in other religion, don't envy them. They are passing through torture and torment from the bite of the locusts, from the bite of the, of the terrible things that has been released from heaven against them. Everyone is releasing so many kinds of problems into this world just to deal with those people who have refused to accept Jesus Christ. For anyone that refused to accept Jesus Christ into his or her life, they are exposing their lives, they are exposing themselves, their families, to the bite of the serpent and scorpions, to the bite of the locust that has been released. Let's continue. Verse 6, and in those days shall men seek death. Even in their problem, they'll be looking for death. In those days shall men seek death and shall not find it and shall desire to die and death shall flee from them. They'll be saying, ah, even in this time of Corona, some people are even wishing, oh, this thing is too much. Where are we going to escape? Let me just die. But death is, is running away from them. Why? Because it is God's plans to deal with those who are turning their lives against Jesus Christ. And the shapes of the locusts were like unto horses. You can see, look at the description of the locusts. The locusts that the Bible is talking about, they are spiritual infirmities, spiritual problems being released into the world to deal with men who have refused to accept Jesus into their lives. And the shapes of the locusts were like unto horses, prepared unto battle. How can locusts be like horses? Prepared unto what? Unto battle. And on their heads were, as it were, crowns like gold. And their faces were as the faces of men, like horses, their head with crowns and their faces like the face of men. Very funny creature. Face of a man, crown on the head, but they are like horses. That means they have the body of the horse, their head, not the head of the horse, the head of a human being, and upon the head, crown of gold. And their hair as the hair of women, and their teeth were as the teeth of lions. So you can just picture it in your mind. Their teeth, like the teeth of a lion. Their hair, like the hair of a woman, very long. Long hair, golden crown, the face of a man, and the body of a horse. What a creature. They have come into the world invisible, in an invisible way, that you cannot see them with the naked eyes. But Thank God that God is telling us what is being released into the world to deal with people who are turning their lives against salvation, against receiving Christ. Let's continue. And their hair as the hair of 
women. And their teeth were as the teeth of lions. You can draw this picture now. But can you see them with your naked eyes? No. And they had breastplates, as it were, breastplate of iron. And the sound of their wings, and they even had wings. The sound of their wings was as the sound of chariots of many horses running into battle. Woo! Their wings. Us, face of a man, teeth of a lion, hair of a woman, and with wings so they can fly. So that means there is no barrier. No one will escape. Anyone that does not accept Jesus Christ, that does not have the seal of God, they will be the prey for this creature that God has sent. Verse 10. And they had tails like unto scorpions. Their tails, they have tails like scorpions. And they were stings in their tails. And their power was to hurt men five months. The five months is spiritual. To hurt men for a set time. Corona is here for a set time. To deal with unbelievers. To deal with the ruthless people in this world. To deal with those people who are assuming to be gods. And they had their tails like unto scorpions. And there were stings in their tails. And their power was to hurt men five months. And they had a king over them. So they had a ruler. They had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon. But in the Greek tongue, has its name Apollyon. One woe is past. The calamity is past. But the problems that these creatures brought is still killing men. Even though the trumpet had sounded, but the woe has been carried out, but the effect is still on. I will explain to you. HIV came, but the the demon of HIV had gone, but the effect of HIV is still working havoc in people's lives. Let's continue. One war is past, and behold, there comes two wars more thereafter. One war is past, but there come two wars more thereafter. Let's continue. And the sixth angel sounded, and I hear the voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before God, saying to the sixth angel, which had the trumpet, lose the four angels, which are bound in the great river Ephraim. And the four angels were loosed, which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year for to slay the third part of men. And the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000 thousand, and I heard the number of them. Hmm. Who can escape the day of the wrath of God? We need to cry to God for mercy. Verse 17. And thus I saw the us, the horses in the vision, and them that sat on them, having breastplate of fire, and of jacinth and brimstone, and the ears of the horses were as the ears of lion, and not that type of horses now, ears of the lion, and out of their mouth issued fire and smoke and brimstone. This one, their teeth is not even like, see, they were bringing out fire. You can imagine the horse with the head of a lion vomiting fire. Hmm. But these three were the third part of men killed. By these three were the third part of men killed by fire and by smoke and by brimstone, which issued out of their mouth. I pray that when the fire of God is coming down upon head, you and your family 
and every souls on this platform shall not be consumed by the fire of God in the name of Jesus. The angel of destruction that has been sent to destroy the world with fire, with brimstone, with, with hailstone, they will not destroy you in the name of Jesus. You and your family shall forever be under the shadow of the Almighty in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, it is done. Verse 19, for their power is in their mouth and in their tails, for their tails were like unto serpents. This one's their tail is not like scorpion, you see, it's like a serpent. And hard heads, and with them they do hot. The tails like serpent, and they have heads, and they do hot. And the rest of men which were not killed, this is where the Lord is talking to you and I the unrepentant generation. You and I, we have witnessed diverse kinds of things, terrible things befalling the world. We have seen a time when there was smoke that blocked all air traffic. We have seen diverse kinds of diseases, sicknesses destroying the world. We have witnessed diverse kinds of war, rumors of war everywhere. But the question now is this, are we turning away from our wicked ways or are we still following our wicked ways? Despite all these revelations that God is giving, that many of them are real and they are in existence. In verse 20, and the rest of men which were not killed, you are alive, you are, you are not perishing with corona. Corona is not coming to your house. Corona is not taking your life. And the rest of men which were not killed by this place. That means all the horses you were seeing, all the things that we have been reading, they were plagues. The horses were releasing plagues, releasing all kinds of terrible sicknesses, terrible infirmities into the world. People that were not killed by these plagues yet repented not of the works of their hands that they should not worship devils. See the works that God wants us to repent that they should not worship devils and idols of gold and silver and brass and stone and the wood which neither can see nor hear nor walk. Neither repented they of their mothers nor of their sorceries, nor of their fornication, nor of their theft. God is telling you and I that the plagues that we have witnessed, are we repenting now or are we still following our wicked ways? By the time coronavirus subsided a bit, the question will still come, are you still going to continue your own ways? Or are you going to forsake your evil ways? The rest of men that were not killed by these plagues, all the description of the horses they are talking about, there are diverse kinds of plagues that has been released. But are you repenting? You are alive today. Are you still living your old ways of life? Are you still stealing, fornicating, committing adultery, committing murder, worshiping gold? running after material things, not worshiping God, not referencing God. You are being begged to serve God. Many woes are still coming. We'll get there in the Bible. It has been revealed. Nothing can change the word of God. Whether you like it or not, whether I like it or not, the revelation is there and it cannot be changed. I want you to search your mind tonight. God is giving you and I the opportunity not to be consumed by the upcoming plagues. Plagues will still come because we are in the end time. The sixth angel has sounded the trumpet and that one released those wicked plagues to destroy thought of men. You know how many, how many thousands and millions of lives coronavirus have destroyed? Do you know how many dreams, how many visions? Do you know how many eye flyers this plague have destroyed? Do you know how many thousands and millions of lives that war have destroyed? 
you and I been alive today? What changes are we putting in place? Are we going to change? Or are we going to continue with our own life? I want you to close your eyes and pray tonight. I want you to tell God, Lord, help me. Help me with the sin I'm struggling with. Help me, Lord, to overcome sin in my life. I don't know the sin you are struggling with. Sin is a terrible plague. Sin will not allow a man to be set free. Whenever a man is sinning, maybe he is into the sin of drinking. Maybe he's into the sin of fornication or theft. The devil will start giving them what is called demonic appetite. That when that appetite comes upon them, they will do anything just to satisfy that evil desire. I want you to pray to God. Every evil desire in my life that will send me to hell fire, Holy Ghost, deliver me in the name of Jesus. Every evil desire in my life, every loss of the flesh, loss of the eyes and the pride of life that will send me to hell fire. Oh Lord, my Father, deliver me. Oh Lord, deliver me. Oh Lord, deliver me. Oh Lord, deliver me. Oh Lord, I don't want to perish. Oh Lord, oh Lord, deliver me. Oh Lord, deliver me. Oh Lord, deliver me. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say, agenda of hell to blind me spiritually agenda of hell to blind me spiritually fail in the name of jesus every plans of the devil to blind me spiritually fail woefully fail 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 agenda of the devil to blind me i command you to fail agenda of the wicked to blind me i command you to fail in the name of jesus fail woefully fail woefully fail woefully fail woefully in jesus name we are praying say oh god my father empower me to live a righteous and a holy life Oh Lord God, my Father, empower me, empower my family, empower us, oh God, to live a righteous and a holy life. Empower us, oh Lord, empower us, oh Lord, to live a righteous and a holy life. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we are praying. Say, garment of filthiness upon my life, cut fire. In the name of Jesus, every garment of sin, every garment of sin in my life, garment of filthiness in my life, cut fire, cut fire. I command you to cut fire. Every evil garment, evil garment in my life. I command you to catch fire. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Say, I confess Jesus. I confess Jesus Christ as my Lord and personal Savior. From today, I rededicate my life to Christ. I rededicate my life to Christ. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord God, my Father, I confess Jesus Christ of Nazareth as my Lord and my personal Savior. And I rededicate my life to Christ. I rededicate my life to Christ. Jesus Christ, come into my life. Say, Jesus Christ, come into my life and take your place. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Come into my home and take your place. Come into my life. Into my life. Come into my life, Lord Jesus. Come in today. Come in to stay and take your place. Come into my life and take your place. Come into our lives and take your place. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Great and mighty Father, we thank you because you are God of truth. We thank you, Lord, because you have released your truth upon us tonight. Let your truth, O God, find a place in our heart in the name of Jesus. Let your truth, O God, bear fruit in us. Set us free from captivity of liars in the name of Jesus. By your word tonight, give us victory over sin. Give us victory over sin in the name of Jesus. By your word tonight, set us free, O Lord. Set us free, O Lord, from the captivity of sin in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Amen in Jesus' name. I want to congratulate you in the name of Jesus for being a partaker of this glorious transformation. I want to beg of you in the name of Jesus. Please, let your life be available as a transformer. Do not just be the hearer of this world. Ask God to help you to do according to what the scripture is saying. They say the third of the, the men of this world refused to turn, refuse to repent. Don't be among those that refuse to repent. Every day of your life, ask God for mercy and for forgiveness. But failure to repent is like inviting the plagues upon one's life. And I pray that the plague that is destroying this world will not come upon you in the name of Jesus. As you repent of all your sins, the Lord will have mercy on you. Have mercy on your children. Have mercy on your family, have mercy on your ministry, and have mercy upon everything that you are doing in the name of Jesus. Remember, if this message is a blessing to you, share the good news. 
Let the old one know that without Christ in their life, they will be consumed with the plagues that the Lord has released. The plagues are being released by the permission of God Almighty. The plagues are coming through when the trumpets are being blown. So please, let the old one know that what they are running after cannot save them. Their belief in worldliness cannot save them. Their belief in other gods, gods of iron, you can see there, they were, they were serving gods of iron, gods of gold, that cannot hear, that cannot even do them anything. Instead of them to turn to the almighty God, share this goodness with them. Let them turn their, from their wicked ways and come to serve the living God. It is beautiful to serve God. It is good to serve the living God, the creator. There is no one that will serve God and their lives will remain the same. And as you and I are fellowshipping together in this presence, may every situation in our life that needs the touch of heaven, may God Almighty visit them in the name of Jesus. Share this good news. Our videos too are on YouTube, Reality Christian Center channel. Also on our website, www.thepartofrighteousness.com. Every day, remember, we meet from 6 p.m. to half 6 every day to speak the word of God, to share the gospel. The gospel is the only thing that we need to see us through from the plague that has been released from the bottomless pit. You can see another creature came from the bottomless pit. That means there are diverse kinds of things, problems, plagues, all kinds of evil things that has been released. And I pray that you and I will not be a partaker of those evil things in Jesus' name. We will forever be under the shadow of the Almighty. So don't let anyone take you away from God's presence. Read the Bible. Pray that God should help you to be obedient to this world. And you see God protecting you and your family from all the dangers and calamities that are going on in this world. Let's share the grace in fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Seven, hallelujah, to celebrate the Almighty God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. God bless you to be tomorrow, and stay blessed. Have a nice week.